how to add bestseller badge on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a bestseller badge within Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do, go ahead to Shopify.com, sign into your account if you have one. If you don't, it is very easy to create one. The next step right here is to see the admin dashboard and here we have the admin dashboard. Now simply you are going to click on the search bar within Shopify and type a name of an app that I'm going to show you right here and you are going to search for it on the Shopify app store. Now put simply Sammy, Sammy like that, label or Batch. I'm going to put label and see the results. Once the upload or the page will let you see here and here we have it. This is the Sami product labels and badges. It is a built for Shopify app and it has a very high rating of 4.9 stars. Now simply I'm going to click on the app then we are going to install it. We have chosen the app because it has a free trial and also a free plan available. Click on install. I'm going to close this window because I don't need it. And here we have the authorization that we are going to give to this app to be installed. Click on install. And simply we are going to wait for some couple seconds until we have this page or the, as you can see, the dashboard. Now we are going to see right here the pricing plan. We are going to use the free one. Here we have the free plan or you can go ahead and use the premium plans. Now I'm going to click on the current plan. Then simply we are going to see here what type of labels and badges that we have. Now we can go ahead and create any type of badges that we have. Click on the pin to your navigator or the navigation here. Click on badges and labels under the Sami product labels app. And here we are going to see the empty dashboard. Click on create badge slash label. Click on label, for example, or badge. I'm going to put it as a badge. And here we have the badges. You can go ahead right here and add an image to that badge. For example, you can go ahead and add it right there. And also you can add a text. For the select badge image, simply click on select image and it will upload or load up the images that integrated within the integrated app. Now let's search for the bestseller. You will see here the bestseller badge popping off and we are going to use it. Here we are going to search for example best seller and we will see from the 1000 here we have the bestsellers. As you can see here, we have a lot of badges. You can go ahead and use any of these badges to your product. Let's say that we are going to add this one or maybe this. This is much simpler. I'm going to add this select image. And for the text, you can go ahead and add a, a text instead of an image. But I highly recommend you to put a seller image right here, bestseller. And now we are simply going to see here the design. You can put the position below the product, below the product title, or below the product image like that, or you can put a custom. Here you can go ahead and put the position of it. For example, I'm going to put it here below the product price, for example, like that. And simply we are going to put right here a animation if you want. You can go ahead and put a pulse image right here or animation. When you finish that, you are simply going to click on save. When you save this badge, now we are going to click on display. And the condition on here, we are going to set it all conditions. The products, you are going to select all products, for example, or select a product. Now I'm going simply to check the item. For example, I will let it for this one and that one. And finally, this one. Click on add. Simply it will add the three products. Click on save again. And now we are going to exit. Click on the X mark right there. 
and here we have everything set up. Now, let's go back to the editor right there, and we are simply going to enable this app. To enable this app, it is very easy. You can go ahead to your theme right there, click on online store, themes, now we are going to click on customize. When you click on customize, it will appear right there, the theme editor. Here you are going to click on the embed apps on the left side bar, click on it, and it will pop up the Sami product labels. It is already enabled. If you want to disable it, click on it right here, and it will be disabled. Enable it by just clicking right here and click on save. Now, let's go ahead and check these products. Simply, you are going to your website. I'm going to view my website directly from here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Here we have the first product and the second product that we have added. Now, when you see here, it is a pulsing badge as a bestseller. Click on that product. And we will see here also on the page or the product page, the bestseller batch. That was very easy and very simple. Now, if you want to add a label instead of a badge, it is very simple. Go back to the app named Tami product labels. Create your label by simply clicking on create label like that. Here we have the label. We have the image. This is the first option and also the text. I'm going to use the images because the visual effect will always impact the customer psychology and uh, also behavior. Click on select image and it will show up right there, the labels. I'm going to put right here, bestseller, again, bestseller. I will go ahead and put any bestseller logo that I find, for example, like that. Select that image, and here we have the label. It is in the image and not outside the frame of that image. Go ahead right here and select the position of it. You can go ahead right here to the top left, top right, top center, like that also, or like this. Now we can go ahead and use a rotation. You can put it medium, large, or custom. I'm going to put it small, and for the animation, I am simply going to let it swing, for example, or you can let it bounce in like that or bounce out. I'm going to put here wobble, click on save. And now let's go ahead to the badges. I'm going to the app again. In my case, it will not show up because I have consumed the free plan. As you can see, I have created a badge and a label. I have to go ahead to upgrade to the silver plan, as you can see, to use this feature. But in the meanwhile, when you go to the store, you can see that I have made the badge for all the products. It has set the badge or the bestseller badge and label for all the products. That was very cool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.